Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox Android. So in this video, we're going to learn how to implement Alarm Manager into our Android application, right? So those of you who do not know what is Alarm Manager, basically Android SDK provides us a feature to run a particular code at a given point of time. Doesn't matter our app is running or not, right? So basically we set a time to run a particular code and even if the, our app is closed by the user at that particular time, that piece of code will be triggered right we can run that code it may be a uh, we want to show some notification at a given point of time or we want to make some api calls we want to sync data with the server anything we can do anything for that we'll be using alarm manager so let me just demonstrate what you can get by the end of this video so if you can see on my mobile screen i have three buttons select time set alarm and cancel alarm if i just tap on this select time and if i select 12 17 pm right i just tap ok set the alarm so you can see we have set the alarm now let me just close this app so let's just wait for that time so you can see we have got the notification if i just tap on this we go to the next activity right so if you want to implement the same to your Android application, make sure you watch this video till the end. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button as well. So let's start with the development. So the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to design the front end parts. So for that, I have this main activity XML file open. So I'll just go to the split window and we'll change this constraint layout to the linear layout. And we'll set the orientation to vertical. So let me just quickly design the front end part then I'll let you know what we have done right. Okay, so we have designed the front end part. So basically, it has four elements: the text view, three buttons to set the select the time, set the alarm, and cancel the alarm. Right. So I guess this is pretty much simple. Right. This is a simple layout. Nothing much to explain about it. So now we'll just quickly dive into the backend code. So before just going there, we'll just go to app level build .gradle file. Right. Here we'll just enable the viewpointing. Right. let me just sync this so okay this thing has been completed now i'll just go to our main activity so whenever that alarm will be triggered we want to run a particular code so for that we'll be creating a new class so new cotton class i'll just name it as alarm receiver right now this class will extend broadcast a receiver we have to implement a method so just click here alt enter implement members on receive so here you can see inside this method you have to write down the code okay let me just do that so inside this method we can write down the code that we want to execute when that alarm is triggered right as in my case i'll be creating a notification at that time so to show you guys that the code is working right so you can do anything you can make an api call or you can sync some data with the server anything you have to write it here only so uh, for making this class as a broadcast receiver we have to declare it inside the manifest file so receiver alarm receiver 
so you have to mention it here in the manifest file that is it so let me just quickly create a notification then i'll let you know what you have done right okay guys we have created the notification here so basically we want to open this destination activity so i have created an intent a pending intent for the same and here we have created the object of the notification compact class right so we have set certain attributes here the icon for that the content title text auto cancel as true that means the user taps on it it should be removed from the notification tray then we have set the defaults the priority should be high and then we have set the intent as this pending intent right then we have used this notification manager dot notify to show the notification so that is pretty much everything i need to do inside this class this on receive method right now we'll just go to the main activity so the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to create the object of view binding class i guess i need to okay here you can see we have used the channel id basically this channel id is used for the notifications it has nothing to do with the alarm manager but if you want to implement the notification then i must tell you that from android 8 and above you need to create a channel id for every notification right that you need to create in the main activity so first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a notification channel so for that i'll be using this method so let us just create this method right let me just quickly create the notification channel okay guys we have created the notification channel so the very first thing we checked is if the device version is equal to or greater than uh, o that means oreo right and then we have said the name of the channel that is fox or android reminder channel you can set according to your application right then we have set the description for the same then we have set the importance the importance for this channel will be high and then i have created the channel right so you can see i've set the same id that i've used here make sure you do that as well then we've set the description for this channel to the description we have made here then we've got the object of the notification manager right after that we'll use notification manager dot create notification channel 
and will pass this channel here right so we have created the notification channel now we'll set the on click listener on all the three buttons so for that so we'll be calling three methods inside these three click listeners so here we want to show the time picker when user click on this button so i'll just call this method so let us just create this method so okay here we want to show the time picker when user taps on this button so for that we'll be creating our reference variable private latent where we'll just name it as picker okay So this will show the picker. Now we want to set the on click listener on the positive button. So add on positive button click listener, right? So if picker dot r is greater than 12. So okay guys we have shown the picker here then we have set the on click positive click listener right so inside this what we have done is we have set the time uh, to the text view then we have created the instance of a calendar then we have set that particular time to that calendar that the user have selected by using this picker dot r picker dot minute now this calendar object will point to that particular time right that the user has selected now we are going to call another method set alarm inside this click listener let's just create this function inside set alarm okay i have to create another private latent where alarm manager right okay So alarm manager equal to get system services. So okay guys we have set the alarm here for that we have created the object of alarm manager right then we have created an intent and inside this we have passed this class that you will be creating for as a broadcast receiver right then we have created the object of pending intent and we will use pending intent dot get broadcast receiver and we have set the request code the flags the intent that we have created here 
then we have used alarm manager dot set repeating and there will be many options for example set repeating will be uh, you will be repeating the alarm at the given interval right then set will set the alarm for once and then you will be having set exact set exact means that it will be triggered at an exact given point of time set in exact repeating means that it will be a repeating alarm but it will not be triggered at a exact time that you will be setting there might be a delay of one two or three minutes so uh, what android documentation says that you will you should use set in exact repeating if the exact time doesn't matter right if you can afford a delay of a one or two or three minutes then you should all you should always use set in exact repeating because it enhances the device performance right so you can choose it according to your application so here i'll be using set repeating then we have passed the alarm manager dot rtc wake up because we are will be using here what time of clock will be using rtc wake up means real time clock so it will be matched to the word clock right the actual clock that is there that we are using to see the time wake up means it will wake up uh, the device if it is logged if it is uh, not active right rtc means real time clock so it will not wake up the device elapse real time means that will start counting the time when the device was booted right so it will count the time from there right elapse real time wake up means it will wake up the device so we'll be using rtc wake up then we have set the time at what we want to trigger the alarm so our calendar object points to that particular time the user has selected so we have used calendar dot time in milis then alarm manager but what is the interval so we have used the interval of a day we want to repeat it at the interval of a day there are other options as well if you want to repeat it after 15 minutes every half day how far hour right so we want to do it at the interval of a day then we have passed the pending intent then we have raised the toast that that says that alarm has been successfully set so the last method we want to create is cancel alarm so let us just create this method so to cancel the alarm we'll just go here in the set alarm okay we'll copy all of this paste it here then we are going to call the method alarm manager dot cancel right and we'll pass the pending intent here right after that we'll raise a toast So that is it. That is all we need to do to cancel the alarm, right? So make sure that the spending intent should exactly match the pending intent you used while setting the alarm, right? Exact pending intent should be passed inside this cancel method. So that is it to implement alarm manager to our Android application. So now let me just quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not, right? So here is the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen if I just tap on this select time button and if we just select 456 maybe 456 pm right and we set the alarm so the alarm has been set now let us just close this app and wait for the alarm to get triggered. So you can see we have got the notification if I just taps on it we go to the destination activity. So I guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our Android application and I also hope that you guys have understood the code. In case of any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can DM me on Instagram. The Instagram username will be there on the screen right now. So if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and in case you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for saving the notification of the upcoming videos. So that is it for today's video. See you in another video. Bye.